Sometimes when you're setting up a tavern, you think to yourself, I wish I had a pillar that I could set up in the middle of this tavern. But all I have is stone, and the floors are made out of wood. This doesn't make much sense. Whatever shall I do? Stay tuned to find out on Starships and Steam. <laughs> Today on Starships and Steel, we're going to revisit the video I had planned for last week, but as I got Conan and we did an unboxing, I thought I would do this video this week. So here we are. Today we're going to make pillars out of wood. Well, we're going to make them out of foam, but they're going to look like wood. Today, of course, first thing we have to do is try a beer, because making uh, crafts is thirsty, thirsty business. We don't have anything super exciting today. I just had what I have in the fridge left over from Conan on the weekend. Some Big Rock traditional ale. I think I've actually drank this on channel before, so not, not cool. I should have something new every week. I know, but I failed you. But we're still going to drink it because it's tasty. Oh, there we go. We definitely have not drank it out of the skulls of my enemies, though. So let's pour that in there and see what we get for beer. Beer. I like beer. Do you guys like beer? If you like beer, let me know what your favorite kind of beer is. Leave me a comment down below and let me know. Doesn't even half fill up the beer head. Here we are. Huh? Pretty cool. All right. It's a solid ale. Brewed in Calgary. I'm going to give it uh, three and a half out of five stars. I've drank it before. I will drink it again. Good on a hot day, but uh, without further ado, let's uh, go to the table. Well, not the table, the craft table. Let's go there. And we'll start by uh, reviewing our tools and our materials, and we'll get on with the build and bring those tales of the weird to life. So we need a proxon table, exacto knife, scissors, a hot glue gun, and Aline's tacky glue. Materials. XPS foam, light cardstock, and some medium chipboard. So this is half inch XPS. It's a half inch by whatever. We're going to make the pillars half inch by half inch. So we're going to start with setting the proxon table to be the width of the XPS foam. And then we're just going to run our foam through so that it's half inch by half inch approximately. And then we're just going to rotate it 90 degrees, chop off the end so that it's uh, square angle there. And then we'll look at what we've already built. This is designed to be X size based on a miniature. We'll just lay that on the table, put some tape down to get an idea of how long we want these pillars to be. Then we'll just run those through, cross cut them with the length of that tape. It'll give us our four pieces of foam to start our pillars. You can do this with a knife, I guess, but it's easy with the procs on. So take an X-Acto knife. We're just going to split these in half, not all the way, just put a, a line through them. To represent the four posts that are banded together to build these heavy duty pillars. And we're going to texture them in two different ways, just to show you the difference. One's with a wire brush. Just run that along the two uh, planks, two posts, just like that. Maybe use some wood grain in those things. Don't do it too hard or you'll tear out the foam. And just do that, just like that, so you get all four sides. Next way, we're going to take the X-Acto knife like this, and we're just going to draw in some exaggerated grain structure into the wood. And then this will give it a more cartoony look, but it's also easier to see on the table. So do that on all four sides. Just like that. Just real quick. Once you're done with that, you grab our Uniball pen. And those first cuts we made to make it into four posts, we're going to go over those pretty heavy and push them in. To give a good delineation between the posts. Then all four sides on both of the pillars. Once you've done that, we're just going to go back in and lightly re indent everywhere we cut the grain structure just to give it a bit more relief when we go to paint it. Let's do that again on all four sides. Then we're going to take their knife and we're just going to connect them on the top so that it looks like four complete pillars that are banded together. Just take your Uniball pen and do the same thing, get it on the side, just to delineate those. And then draw some circular grain structure on the top just to finish that little look off. 
All right, looking good. So now we're gonna take hot glue and we're going to glue them to one inch by one inch pieces of chipboard. This gives you a good little base to uh, stick them on. Once that's done, take our black paint and Mod Podge and just prime these bad boys up. Then we're gonna take some burnt umber paint and just give it a big, good brown, dark brown base coat on there. Just like that. Do that to both of the pillars. There's the second one. Let's get that done. Looking pretty good. Tops as well. Once that's dry, we're gonna take some cashmere tan color. We're gonna dry brush to so just remove most of the paint off your brush. Lots of good tutorials on dry brushing on the internet. You just uh, do this, go over them, pick up the highlights. Just go over that until it's all done. Until it looks solid, you got good coverage. Like that. Another side here, show you what it looks like. Just keep going until you get all four sides done. Yeah, looking good. So we're going to go on to the other one. The grain structure on this one's finer, so make sure you have very little paint on your brush when you do this or you'll fill them in. But once you uh, get them in there, it'll look pretty good. And you'll have a pretty realistic looking grain on the wood, which is pretty cool. But again, harder to see across the table. Looking pretty good. Get those done. Those are our base colors on the two pillars. Looking good. So the next thing we'll do is the banding. So for the banding, we're going to use light cardstock. This is just cardboard from a 12 pack of uh, pop, club soda in this case, but it doesn't matter. If you drink Coke, it's totally cool. We just cut those off pretty thin so they look good. However thick they are, it doesn't really matter. Get your pillar. Go like a quarter of the way up, whatever. Kind of eyeball this. Wrap that around. When you get it overlapped, take your pen, mark off where you want to cut it so there's overlap, and then just sniff that off. Now take your tacky glue and go around the pillar where you want that banding to be. I discovered later that it's probably actually easier to put the glue on the banding, but either way it works. We'll wrap it around. If you're patient, you could hold it there, I guess, till it dried. I, however, am not. So I put a little bit of hot glue on the end of the banding, push it down, and then attach the two. So the hot glue holds them together. Just like that. All right, looking good. Wipe off any of the excess glue. And then repeat for the other three bandings on the two pillars. Once you get that done, you just need to paint those up silver. And we're just going to use a basic craft paint to do that. So here's the silver paint. Painting those bands up because they're metal. If you wanted them gold, you could use a gold color. I just want basic silver. You could paint rust on here. You could paint weathering coming off the banding down to the wood. You can do all kinds of things with these. You could embed shackles into them. You could embed sconces for torches into them. There's lots and lots of cool ideas for these these pillars. Let's just get all four of the bandings done. Let's just do the other one here real quick so you guys can see. And I like the speed painting and it looks neat so you get to look, watch it with me. So once that's done, we have one more thing to do and that's to take a black wash. This is just black paint, water, and a little bit of flow aid. Maybe you have to play with it to get it to where you want it but you want it to Give good coverage, flow over the whole thing, but not cover the other paint. So you want light pigment. So I just cover the whole thing pretty dark and then go back with a toilet piece of toilet paper and just kind of dab over lightly. Just pull off any of the really, really excessive stuff. And go back in there with this. I didn't really do the bases on these, but you could do whatever you wanted. Rubble, brick, whatever. Again, dab with those on there, just like that. And then we'll have uh, three pillars you can look at here quick. So two of them with that exaggerated uh, grains and ones with the more realistic looking grain. And you can see they look pretty good, a little bit different. And uh, we'll go over to the table and see how they look in play. All right. Here we have a wooden no cropping built from a sorcerer's tower out over the ocean. 
those two wooden pillars there holding a maiden securely so Dagon can rise from the depths and take his prize. I think they look pretty good. I'm pretty happy with how they turned out. So if you liked the pillar build, you know, give me a like and let me uh, know what your comments are down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And of course, if you want to see more of Starships and Steel, if you want to see more of bringing the tales of the weird to life, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you on board. And I want to say thanks to all the new subscribers we have. And to everyone else, cheers. Have a good beer. And I will see you guys next time on Starships and Steel.